Alright lads, welcome back to another episode of my FIFA 19 career mode on FIFA 19 Rangers. This is it, yes, this career mode. And uh, yeah, before we do get into it, I do want to say, uh, I have a few people commenting now and then saying to do Ultimate Team videos. I did actually just play my first Ultimate FIFA 19 Ultimate Team games yesterday, uh, the, the, the placement games. I didn't do so well because of... Um, you know, because I went straight into online against f people with like, full gold teams. I had like half bronze team with Callum Wilson in it and Adam Lallana. So yeah, um, but I'm usually no bad at FIFA as we go 1-0 up with Morelos, yes. But uh, aye, if you want me to do alternate team videos, then please do leave a like, comment, uh, either or will do fine. Probably comment because a like doesn't really, it's not as if you can like a video and say, and it will come up saying this guy liked because he wants you to do ultimate team videos. So, preferably comment, but like as well. Uh, so, comment, just say, do ultimate team, and what do you want me to do? Do you want me to do, I don't know, what's it? I don't even, I've not played ultimate team since FIFA 16. So, I don't know, I don't really know much about foot draft, squad building challenges, uh, Online divisions. I don't know. As Kenny Miller scores a bang there. I don't really know much about Ultimate Team these days, but I'll get into it more because I was quite enjoying it. Uh, my record's like two two five. I know that sounds rotten, but uh, I that was two disconnects. Three disconnects actually. Three. One of them I I thought I paused it, so I, I left the room to answer the door. I uh, came back and it said I, I quit because I, I was in pause for too long, which I was raging about. So yeah, two disconnects and one uh, muck up with the pauses. Because it doesn't actually pause when you get the ball. It pauses, it, it puts you in a queue, which I think is stupid. I think back in the day, uh, like FIFA 14, if you just had the ball and you paused, then it should pause straight away. Like, that makes sense. Anyway, uh, comment down below what you want me to do and I will be sure to, you know, do what, see what I can do. Pack opens. I'll see what I can do, I'm no made of money, but, you know, um, I'll see what I can do. Anyway, into this game, we're 2-1 up, Ryan Kent scored a decent goal there, and Dundee now coming forward, and then we got Dominic Sabrowin to save off the bar with his feet, and then we end up clearing that one out. And uh, now on the ball, as Morelos, Morelos into the box now, gets tackled, but he managed to retain possession, give it on to Arfield. Arfield now gives that one back to Jack, Jack has a bit of space, has a shot, and the keeper palms that away and yeah uh, if you remember last episode Jack scored a banger and I, that was actually when I was half cut that I scored that against Hamilton to make it one each yeah that was not bad but anyway uh, on the ball now is Kandace giving him onto Morelos Morelos now cuts that one back to Peña and apparently he's now balled Peña as he hits that one into the side net but last minute Peña with a fake shot gets tackled and just wipes the guy out but that doesn't matter because it's now full time so yeah he, he, he didn't even get a yellow card for that so yeah I was, I was sneaky by Peña, I like that. that. That's obviously what we're missing in the team, that wee bit of mess can kind of sneakness about the team. Anyway, 2 1 we won that game. Now into the Scottish Cup semi final against Kilmarnock. So yeah, uh, it says that we're at home, but in reality it would be at Hamden. Um, I guess the game just doesn't understand Scottish football. No wonder, I, I, I can see why it doesn't take time in Scottish football, because Scottish football is terrible. Yeah, sorry. Anyway, uh, yeah, uh, as I said that, um, I may as well just carry on to it. I don't think Scottish football is good at all. The only Scottish football I watch is Rangers. I mean, aye, aye, you, can, you, get, you get good bits of play and all that, but compared to like... I know there's a huge money aspect to it, but compared to the Bundesliga, compared to... Uh, English football compared to most of Europe and I was watching Boca Juniors versus River Plate it was quite a good game uh, I suppose that's like that's like the old, that is like the old form of Argentina so yeah um, I don't know what do you think do you, do you, if Aberdeen versus Motherwell was on would you watch it over Chelsea and Fulham I don't know uh, that's just another question you can think about maybe if you want to comment that um, what you think? But anyway, we're still one 0 up, and Arfield swings that one in. Barisic, what a heater, my son! And he, that, that was a brilliant header. Born a Barisic, I think that might be his first goal of this series. I don't, I can't remember him being on the score sheet very often, but that was a good goal by Barisic. Proud of the wee man. Uh, I'm sure you'll be be going home back in Croatia, saying glad I scored. 
however you see that in creation, but yeah, good cross in, and Barisic is there with a big creation noggin. Anyway, we have a throw in in the second half now, and then Ryan Jack in the middle gives that one into Morelos. Morelos then gives, picks it out to Chris Cadden, into the box now, bangs that one in, 3-0, and we are going to the final. Say we are going through, say we are going through. It's never really something you're going to hear a Rangers fan sing, are you? Nah, don't think so. Who the sings that kind of thing? Uh, it, that, it's probably an American thing, to be honest. Probably, it, it's, it's got to be American. Anyway, 90th minute, and that's it. 3 0, we win. So, two wins out of two for this episode, and we go into our final game of the episode against Heart of Midlothian. And, uh, if we do win this and Celtic drop points, we win the title. Like, for real this time, not after, not before the 33 games. Uh, so we will actually win the game, uh, league, sorry. And, right, I'm going to say this, regardless of what happens in the Scottish Cup final or whatever, which is against Celtic, um, I'm going to move up to ultimate difficulty next season. I just started off legendary because uh, I, I wanted time to kind of get used to the game, but I'm well used to the game now and I didn't want to change it halfway through the season. So starting next season, ultimate difficulty, that is what's happening as we go one now down, we can't even cope with legendary, Jesus, uh, some old guy McLean I think it is, he's like, literally so many times the commentators in this game mentioned this is his last game, oh, he's retiring, oh, he might not retire after that, go, uh, par, par, par. Yeah, it was just the same old, every time he touched the ball, oh, I don't think he'll be hanging, hanging up his boots after that, you know, if, if he's still got something in the tank, he may as well use it. I mean, obviously, didn't he say that kind of stuff, but something similar, something as boring as that. But we went a penalty there, uh, you actually see the replay, it, it wasn't a penalty, like, it, it just was not a penalty. Chris Cadden cuts inside. Wait, you saw he got the ball. So yeah, that, that was a bit poor for the ref. But we'll take it. We'll, we'll take all the referee decisions on the Rangers side. Because it doesn't happen very often. But yeah, Tav puts that one away. Uh, very coolly, very coolly. I don't think I've missed a penalty this, season, this series. Don't think so. Anyway, uh, see a one each. Not too bad. I'll just skip the replay for a penalty. It's just a penalty. You don't really need to see a replay for that one. And we are in the attack again. Morelos gives that one on to Arfield. Arfield up to Grezda. Grezda hangs it over to Morelos. Morelos a wee bit in front of him. Cuts it back to Arfield. Has a shot. Gets blocked. And they clear that one out for a corner. Now Ryan Kent in the box. Gets tackled. Now they come forward on the attack. Uh, Arfield was too slow to react there. And missed out on the tackle. Uh, and then they go through the second tackle as well. Gets played up to McQueen, he goes a couple step overs, nobody shuts him down, and he bangs that one into the back of the net. 2 1. And guess what? It's his last game. Uh, bar, bar, bar. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, 2 1 down against Hearts, and this could be our game to win the title, so yeah, I was literally just sitting there. We, we, we thrashed Hearts away from home like 3 now, um, like what, two episodes ago, and we were struggling to actually score against them. We had to get a penalty to, to score against them. But Arfield now got given up to Morelos. <laughs> Speaking of a penalty, we get another one. This one was probably a bit more of a penalty, but it's one of the, the ones that might have been a wee bit soft. There's contact, but might have been a wee bit soft. As you'll see this, Captain Christoph Berra. He might, yeah, that, that's, if I was given in real life, that would be definitely given his soft. But Tav steps up for the second time, puts that the opposite side, and there you go, two each. And uh, we're kind of given two lifelines in this game, two penalties. Uh, we might not win the title this game, but uh, if Celtic drop points, then it just makes it easier for next game. Uh, so if we don't win it this game, then next step we'll get it. But we're going to try and get one, one last attack, 88th minute, bring on Ole McBurger. Morelos then we'll wee bit of a run, finds Ole McBurger, no way, can he do it, Ole McBurger, oh he picks it out to the top corner and he's won his, this SPFL title, as long as Celtic have drop points, and he's won his SPFL title, what a man, Ole McBurger got dropped out the team for a few matches, back in, 20 minutes, and he's banged it, top bends, completed the comeback, and he may have completed the title for us. Take a look again, boys and girls. Morelos threads that one through. Bang! Back of the net. And 
but one last chance, but Hearts clear that one out, and I guess uh, Barisic has been watching Pena as he takes his legs out, but doesn't get booked because the ref blows the whistle. And there we go, they're actually celebrating the title, so was, at this point I was like, so Celtic drop points, and I guess they did, uh, they actually did, they drew one each, so yeah, enjoy these title celebrations, and I'll see you after them. Right lads, so if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. Uh, next episode we do have another three light league games that don't really mean much, but yeah, I'll play them anyway. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.